In the Midwest of Western Australia is the Shire and Township of Yalgu. Known historically for its gold fields, Yalgu has been home to the Yamaji people for 30,000 years and Europeans for over 150 years. It is here, in this rugged, timeless part of the Australian landscape, that Western Australia's outback truly begins. My name's Neil Grinham and I'm the president of the Yalgu Shire um, and I'd like to uh, encourage people to visit the, the Shire of Yalgu because there's a, so much history over a long period of time. I'm Raul Valenzuela and I'm involved in the Royal Staff. Welcome to Yalgu, always said the second biggest city in Western Australia. Yalgu Shire is bursting with an intriguing landscape, cultural and historical features. The town of Yalgu was established in the Gold Rush days and it embraces a mix of old and new. Its rich gold mining heritage is noticeable in its colonial buildings which are located throughout the township. The courthouse, originally from day dawn near Kew, was relocated to Yalgu in 1921. The beautiful old building has been converted into a museum, displaying plenty of history from the gold mining days, including memorabilia, photographic material and indigenous artefacts. Right next door, you can stroll around the old police station, which was built in 1896 and was recently restored by the Yalgu Shire. This historic building consists of an office and small cells. Just wandering around the old jail complex is a reminder of how hard life would have been for those who stepped out of line with the law. A short walk from the courthouse is the charming and unusual Dominican Chapel of St Hyacinth, which was built in 1919 for the Dominican Sisters by Monsignor John Hawes. The convent is constructed of rubble stone. It has a tiled roof and arched openings and two buttresses at the rear. The old railway station, the largest on the Murchison line, is yet another fine example of the town's colonial heritage. Recently restored, the train station played a significant role in the success of the historic Yalgu goldfields. The station is now used as the Yalgu Sporting and Community Complex. An annual event is the Yalgu Cup race meeting. Held every April, the Cup provides an opportunity for locals and visitors to enjoy a family day out where people can dress up and participate in a race day carnival. The eye-catching Pink Pub provides townsfolk and visitors an opportunity to enjoy a hearty meal and to catch up on the local news over an ice cool beverage. Everyone should come to Yelgu and just have a look at what we've got. Accommodation can be found at the Pink Pub or at the pet friendly and centrally located caravan park. Yeah, actually it was a very nice surprise to come here and see uh, this caravan park and uh, be able to stay here. Uh, also, it wasn't too expensive for us, and uh, we refresh ourselves here in Yelgu, uh, go to the pub, and then back to the bush to do some more mapping. As you drive around town, you'll see evidence of the town's innovative revitalisation program. For example, the recently developed children's water park is just the place for the local and visiting children to spend on a hot summer's day. Standing in front of the Shire office is the recently completed memorial. Built by the Shire, the memorial represents the homage paid by people from the Shire of Yalgu to their fellow Australians who fought and died on their behalf. The Yalgu Cemetery is yet another project recently completed by the town Shire. The cemetery is designed much like a city, with pathways and signposts for individual faiths. The outback is striking, if for no other reason than for its landscape. The landscape changes dramatically across the seasons. In the spring months, Yalgu is particularly dazzling. The largest collection of wildflowers bloom right here in Western Australia, and Yalgu Shire is renowned for its beautiful display. As you explore the local area, you'll come across the remainders of old stone homesteads and their shadows of old stately charm to tin shanties, whispering stories of the struggles of newcomers to the region. These relics add to the history and charm of Yalgu Shire. Appreciate the amazing clear blue skies, wide open landscapes interspersed with interesting rock forms, lakes and breakaways. Don't be surprised if you come across a monitor lizard when exploring the countryside. These magnificent creatures, sometimes called Australian goannas, are completely adapted in the harsh outback environment.
Just 10 kilometres from Yalgoo, on the Payne's Find Road, discover Joker's Tunnel. The tunnel illustrates the enormous lengths gold prospectors went to, to find gold, by carving through a massive boulder from one side of the hill to the other. The almost 100 metres tunnel is named after the Joker Mining Syndicate, and the tunnel presents many different rock types. You can only imagine the exhausting effort involved in accomplishing such a feat, with the basic equipment available back then. Located 40 kilometres from Payne's Find on the Thundalara Road is the Fields Find Cemetery. This is a special memorial and resting place for several men involved in an early mining disaster, as well as a small number of local persons. The unusual placement of people's professions on their grave sites makes for interesting reading. Another reminder of the Shire's gold rush days is the only working gold mining battery in Australia. Located at Payne's Find, the battery was established in 1911. Take a stroll through the museum to discover an eclectic mix of memorabilia and amazing relics from the mining, pastoralism and sandalwood industries. Throughout the calendar year, the Shire hosts a number of special events. One such event is the amazing Yalgoo Emu Cup and Goo Fest. The Yalgoo Emu Cup and Goo Fest is a unique event, full of interesting and fun-loving activities, including competitive emu-themed races and competitions. The day is full of laughter, with adults and children getting into the spirit of the occasion. Throughout the evening there is live music and the fest closes with a spectacular fireworks display. That fireworks, I've never seen it, I reckon it's one of the best fireworks I've seen. Something really spectacular, it's great. It was very nice to see a festival in a, you know, in a remote place like Yelgu. So, um, yeah, it was surprising and interesting, and uh, yeah, for me it was a good surprise. You want to see a fireworks display? What we had here last night leaves Perth everybody for dead. <laughs>